Hey guys, and welcome to another Stackland Studio Experience. So in this video, I'm going to finally be doing my video on the Eclipse 400S, or Eclipse P400S, from Fantex. And the reason that it's taken so long is because Newegg doomed me. They essentially made me so that I had to make this review a million years too late. So let's go ahead and build in this and then I will talk about my opinions and so on and so forth about this case and what I think about it and if you guys should buy it or not. Again, all of this is my opinion, not destined to be, uh, you know, set in stone. But anyway, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so I've already uh, taken uh, the side panels off, and this is the silent edition, so that means that it has the paneling on it so that it is nice and quiet. I also have this one, but it doesn't seem to want to stay in the panel where it's supposed to be, and I don't know why. Um, I already took the front panel off so that we can, and I actually, you know, no, I had it correctly, um, so that I can uh, mount my radiator in there, which I actually think I did this wrong and I mounted it backwards. Um, but that's okay because the screws, minus the fact that they're stripped, most of them, for some reason, I don't know why, um, but for some reason, some of these screws on here are stripped, and I don't, again, I don't know why, it doesn't make sense to me, um, but yeah, I'll try and feed the pump through here so that I don't have to worry about finagling with this, um, but this looks like it can hold, and I need to flip my camera thing around so that I can, yeah, make sure that you guys are seeing this. Um, so this, I believe it will hold a up to uh, 240 rad, or sorry, uh, yeah, 240. Um, and I have uh, two 120 fans here, um, and it should hold, or is it a 480 then? Because it'd be two 240s. Anyway, it can hold up to two 240 fans right here. Um, I don't think that it would do much more than. Uh, Random fan cable here. Um, I'm finding random cables all over this case that really aren't explained at all. But I do have to give them this. The cable management in the back is on point. I have to say these mounts for the SSDs are rock solid. I do have to say though um, the edges are very sharp and you can easily cut yourself on those edges if you are not careful. But this mounting system is a million times better than the one in my current case that Lily's currently residing in, um, which is the uh, Rosewill Star Predator case, which I will be selling as soon as I can. Because this case is awesome. It even offers toolless, and yes, I said toolless, friends, toolless uh, 3.5 inch hard drive bays and just snap together and then slide right back in. That was one thing that I absolutely loved about the, uh, what case was it? That was the Corsair Spec 01 uh, or Corsair Alpha, Spec Alpha 01. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the other case over here and start tearing it apart because um, that's what you guys want to see. So, I guess, cut the audio and then an angle with the video.
Hey guys, so welcome back after that time lapse. Just gonna flip the camera around. Um, so before I set you guys off, I wanted to do a first time boot test. Um, and first of all, see what color the lights are and get that out from under there. Um, see what color the lights are by default and then showcase uh, how you can. Uh, switch the lights and everything. I don't like how the buttons are underneath. I would much rather have them on the side or the top uh, because down here, for someone with bigger fingers, uh, I can barely tap on these. Um, so let's go ahead and power it on, hoping that I have it plugged in. I do not have the power supply turned on. Alright, so now this this is supposed to be more silent than your average case, so let's power it on and find out. All right, let me bring my microphone. I'm, it doesn't really sound any different to me, but you can change the light color, um, pretty much any color of the rainbow that you want, uh, so, I think I'm gonna leave mine, I just passed it, um, there, I think I'm gonna leave mine there, and then clip this back to my shirt, uh, so, do we have a post on the screen? We have a post on the screen. The screen is booted up. Everything is working fine. Uh, so let me go ahead and switch over to my other microphone and my other camera. Or, this camera, but over what, with me sitting down. And let me talk to you guys a little bit about my experience building in this. What I would do differently with this case and ultimately, should you buy it? So stay tuned for that. All right, so the main question that <laughs> is on everyone's minds is $80, well, sorry, anywhere from 70 to $80. Is it worth it? Because sometimes the price fluctuates from $69.99 all the way up to $79.99. And honestly, it depends. I thought that the colors would be more vibrant and that the sound dampening panels would be something like the uh, Fractal Design series, but frankly, it's not. It's nothing like the Fractal, the Fractal Design series, and it honestly is kind of weak when it comes to sound dampening. I mean, I, haven't, I don't have equipment to do like sound test. But I have a feeling that if I took all the parts back out and put them into my normal case, I doubt that you guys would be able to tell the difference. I mean, there's still the same intake and outtake that there was on that one, um, minus the top, which is now closed, which I guess that's fine. But all in all, it's pretty much the same case. It just is better designed and doesn't have optical drives at all which is great i'm not going to complain about the first case that doesn't have an optical drive bay at all but what i will complain about is that uh, i don't know how well this will come off on the camera probably oh, yeah you can see it there um this case was not sanded down properly and i I'll probably be finding cuts for about a week. On top of that, some of the screws, I received the case that the screws were already stripped. Um, but the cable management, I mean, I still had to sit on, sit on the back plate just to get it shut because some of the cable management back there is still horrendous. But honestly, 
is it worth 80 bucks? No. It's not worth 80 bucks at all. Um, if it's closer to the $70 point or even in the future when they drop that price all the way down to $60, yes. The silence factor, if you thicken the pads a little bit, adding more weight to the case, however, I could see the thickness being perfectly fine and being able to work with. Now, if you get the windowed version that goes anywhere between $40 on sale, uh, $39.99, all the way up to $60, $59.99, um, I would highly recommend the windowed version if you are okay with people seeing mix-matched parts. I would say just save the money. Because as far as I can see, there's no benefit to getting the sound dampening panels on this case. Again, on something like the Define S or Define Nano S or anything from Fractal that has the silent panels on it, or even something from Corsair or Cooler Master or hell even Be Quiet, their cases are designed to be quiet. And this case, however, I do not feel was meant to be quiet. I think that it was just meant to be um, a slogan in a lineup. I don't think that it was meant to be the main main thing in the lineup. I'm sorry that there's a gnat flying around. Um, it wasn't meant to be the main thing in the lineup. It was just meant to be a part of that lineup. So would I recommend it for the... Uh, seventy dollars? No, or sorry, eighty dollars? No, do not get it at the seventy nine ninety nine MSRP. Wait until it goes on sale. Now, I do have to say, do not buy it from Newegg. I know I sound like a broken record, but I will make a separate video when my camera isn't being stupid that will talk about why. You do not buy this anything from Newegg anymore. I, at least I won't. And I highly recommend that you guys watch that video when it comes out. And try not to hate me too much. But I really do not believe that anyone should ever go to Newegg and buy anything there. Their customer service is god awful. They hate all their customers and it shows so be wary when you go to new egg and if you aren't going to new egg and buying it off of amazon or ebay go right ahead but i bought the black metal silent edition and is it worth the price no I stand by my thing of it's a decent case, minus the fact that it cuts you, minus the fact that um, there's there's decent amount of cable room, but just proprietary semi-modular power cables just don't fit. Uh, maybe if your power supply was with thin cables, maybe, um, but just... Most modular power supplies will not fit the 20 plus 4 and the, uh, for me, I had the 4 plus 4, 8 pin for the extra power supply, for the EATX power supply. So I hope that you liked this build slash review of the Fantex P400S. <sighs> Again, it kind of depressed me because I can't do anything with my other case now. And because my case, my other case is garbage, and I think I'll make another video going over why you shouldn't buy Rosewill products. Because <laughs> um, it's kind of self-explanatory. So let me know down below if you like this video. Also by liking it, because even though the ratings are disabled, I can see the ratings. I can see the ratings, and I want you guys to see the ratings, but there's so many people that are still just fake liking the video and fake disliking the video, and it's annoying. So until that ends, uh, we can't show likes and dislikes. 
Um, but I will say that the channel is growing, and I hope that you grow with me by hitting that subscribe button. I try to upload at least once a week, and I try to have live streams at least twice a week. So, <laughs> I plan to have... Uh, actually, I probably have already announced, but you can check in the video's description to see my schedule, which will also be on my website, wolfboytech.org. Um, I'm still trying to get the new domain for Stackland Studio, which will simply just redirect to the, uh, uh, wolfboytech website. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a big ol' thumbs up. If you disliked it, dislike it, tell me down below why you disliked it, and what I can do better to improve my content. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a regular, remember to stay loyal, stay subscribed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.